install Star Wars Interworlds mod onto your for X4 foundations onto your PC. Uh, so the first thing I did, uh, the first thing there was two choices for download here, and one was um, one was from Nexus Mods, which you have which uh, I'll show you now. Go to it's a, to Nexus Mods, we register an account and then download from them. Uh, I found that a bit too tedious, and what I instead did was I used the second option, Google Drive. To do that, I went to Google Drive, available from that link, downloaded the drive, downloaded and installed Google Drive, um, and then I simply clicked this link, and here it is in my Google Drive. Uh, I then double-clicked Star Wars mod, and the download begun. Uh, click on uh, click more apps. Okay, job done. The download uh, arrived in my download sections. There it is, Star Wars mod. It's in a RAR file now. If you don't have, uh, if you don't have it already. I had to do, it should download WinRAR to unzip the file. WinRAR is free. Click here, download and install. So I then unzipped the file to create my Star Wars mod folder. I then cut this folder and pasted it into my uh, X4 extensions folder which is uh, for if you've installed from Steam and you've done the basic installation the default installation it can be found in on drive C in program folder x64 Steam Steam apps common x4 where are you X4 foundations, and I then right click and pasted that into my extensions folder. And here it is Star Wars mod, and there's some other mods I've got downloaded. Star Wars mod. Now that wasn't quite it. I then had to launch the game, which we'll do now. X4 foundations, and I had to activate it in my extensions options of the game. And once I had activated, I had to restart the game. Let's go through that quickly. Again, Star Wars version 7, Foundations. I've got mine installed. I'll just quickly show you. So up here, look, in the menu, in the set, start menu options, extensions, and just Star Wars into Worlds, it was off. So I went to here, I switched on, it then said I needed to restart the game before it would play, so I did that, I left, I quit to desktop, and when I relaunched the game, here it was, Star Wars Extension Mod, which I'm going to play through now. I hope to join you for that. Um, my name is Beth, please like and subscribe, there will be more. Thank you for watching. And uh, just to get you in the mood, here's the trailer. The reason why to install it. Jump completed. Coruscant, Tatooine, Naboo, Puat, Coralia, Genosis, Bathomer, Gavin 4. Jump completed. Alderaan. The spaceship models, planet models, I don't recognize that planet. My Star Wars lore, not up to it.
Look, they fused um, explore spaceship models in with Star Wars models. Boba Fett Mobile. Space battles, oh my god, I can't wait to have a fleet. I'd like to drive the X-Wing, and I'd very much like to drive, um, is it the Corellian freighter? The one that starts start the original Star Wars at the beginning, that Darth Vader's capturing Princess Leia on? Want one of those? Might even want a Millennium Falcon. Jump. That pair, top left, that's the ship I'm going for. I want that one. I might just get my joystick out. Set that up. No, oh, blew my ship up. Don't mind going one of those, obviously. Oops, he's been torched. What about the Death Star down the trench? Imperial Star Destroyer 1, MCA Liberty, Venator Star Destroyer, Dreadnought Class Cruiser, Zebulon B Patrol Frigate, N1 Starfighter, Razor Crest, TIE Fighter. Awesome. Arc Light Cruiser, like, subscribe and join me on this journey, folks. I think it's going to be a good one. I'm really quite stoked about it.